Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd go ahead and get started with my Marvelous Mondays. And uh, since we are in the new year, I just want to say Happy New Year to you and your family. And as we go into 2023, as we are starting in 2023, um, this is something I wanted to share with you because it's something that I have established. It's something that I have done in my life. And it's something that I want to continue in 2023. And what I want to say to you or what I want to share with you is that in 2023, we are protecting our peace. Protect your peace in 2023. And that is the message for today. That is what I want to go ahead and speak on today is that we have to protect our inner peace. No one else can do it for us. We have to protect our peace. Uh, there's just so much distraction. There's so much that goes on in this world. There are people in this world who are just like to be down, and they want to bring people along with them. So I want to encourage you and motivate you on this marvelous Monday not to let anyone destruct your peace, not to let anyone disturb your peace, not to let anyone come and destroy what God has given you, and that is the peace that is within him. So I want to tell you today that, um, do not let anyone destroy your peace. Uh, sometimes it could be family. Sometimes it could be friends. Sometimes it could be co-workers. Sometimes it could be uh, a driver on the road. It could be uh, someone in the shopping plaza, in the shopping mall. Whoever or whatever that is, do not allow them to destroy your peace. Um, I'm reminded of a verse in Philippians 4, 7. 7, 8, and... Uh, 9. It says, this is Philippians 4, 7, 8, and 9. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good rapport, of good rapport, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on those things. These things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. And the God of peace shall be with you. God wants us to live a life of peace. He doesn't want us to live a life of destruction. He doesn't want us to live a life of confusion. And if that means eliminating some of those things in your life that are going to cause your peace to be disturbed, then that is what you must do in 2023. Remove those things that are in your way in 2023. Remember, peace is what we're looking for. Peace is what we, what we want. Peace is what we need. If we're going to survive this world, we're going to go day in and day out. We're going to live day in and day out. We need that peace. So um, I, I want to go ahead and end with this. These are a few points or a few tips that are going to help you during this week and during 2023 to help you get to the point of peace. If you're not there yet, these tips should help you. And if you apply them in your life correctly, uh, they should help you get to that point of peace. First and foremost is prayer. You need to pray. Pray that you will have peace. Pray that God will provide peace for you because that is what you need. Stress causes destruction. Stress causes problems with your health. So what you need to pray for is peace. Ask God for peace. We need to, number two, rise above ignorance. Rise above ignorance. When you hear an ignorant comment, when you see something ignorant, rise above it. When you hear something ignorant, rise above it. Do not stay in that space of ignorance. Okay? Number two, I'm uh, sorry, number three, get rid of toxicity. Okay? Get rid of toxicity. Again, I say, if there are family members, I know we can't get rid of our family members, but maybe sometimes we can block them. Maybe sometimes we don't have to answer to their phone calls. Maybe sometimes we don't have to clap back to ignorance. So get rid of toxicity. Remove those things in your lives that are hindering you from getting that peace that you so need. Okay? Um, number four. <clears throat> 
Cultivate love. And what that means is to be kind, be loving, uh, be trusting. Uh, the things that you do, do them with love. Don't do them with the ex expectation of that you're going to get something back, okay? Be patient and compassionate with the things that you do. Uh, allow yourself to be loved and also love others. Number five, cleanse your space. Cleanse your space. That's also getting rid of toxicity. Cleanse your space. Get rid of the clutter. Get rid of the things in your life that are um, uh, that are hindering you from getting that peace. And believe it or not, sometimes the things that we watch on television could mess up our peace. Sometimes the things we watch on social media, the, the things we scroll through on social media, they can disrupt our peace. So we need to cleanse our space, cleanse that area in our lives that are hindering us from getting that peace, okay? Next is focus on what matters the most, and that is you and your purpose, okay? So focus on what matters the most, and that's you and your purpose. Um, follow these tips uh, figure out ways, study, read, pray, figure out ways that you can be able to practice peace and be able to have peace in 2023, okay? So that is what we're working on, and that's my goal for myself, that's my desire for myself, and that's my desire for you on this marvelous Monday, that you will protect your peace in 2023, okay? So take care of yourself and love. And what does that mean? Whenever I say take care of yourself and love, Love, that means just that take care of yourself if that means taking moments to to do things for you if that means taking a moment away from someone if that means going out to dinner if that means doing a pedicure if that means going shopping whatever that means I need you to do that take care of yourself okay and love and loving means to love yourself and to love those around us because there's more power in love than there is in hate so let's remember that okay as we go on through this marvelous monday throughout the west throughout the rest of the week throughout 2023 protect your peace all right take care i love you guys and i hope that you have a prosperous wonderful 2023 all right bye